Do you need a quilt like yesterday? Have you been super busy and you wanna give a gift of a quilt? Well, this quilt is for you. If you're new to this channel, I'm Kimberly Jolly and I'm the owner of Fat Quarter Shop. And on this YouTube channel, we bring you lots of free content. And if you check out our What's New page, you're gonna always find new fabric. So check us out, subscribe to this channel, and let's get started. The quilt we're making today is called the Mad Dash, and there isn't a pattern for it, just a few easy steps. I'm always looking for quilts that I can make for my kids, and this one fits the bill. You just need 12 fat quarters. The collection we're using today is Laguna Sunrise, and we got this from our Moda Fat Quarter Club. All of our Fat Quarter Clubs have 12 fat quarters, and I'm gonna show you some of the selections we have. So here's an example of Moda Fat Quarter Clubs. In addition to the one I just showed you, you're gonna get 12 fat quarters and you're gonna get a variety of colors and you're always gonna get a couple of backgrounds. So that's Moda. And now I'm gonna show you Lori Holt's Fat Quarter Club. And these are hand selected by Lori, so you know they're gonna always go together. And so like you could make a patriotic quilt, you could make a baby girl quilt, you could make a fun spring quilt, so many options. And for more variety, you can make a batik quilt, which would look so amazing with this pattern. You can make a modern quilt, a traditional reproduction quilt, or for Christmas, you can even make a Christmas quilt. So make sure you check out those Fat Quarter Clubs at Fat Quarter Shop, and let's get started. So your first step for this quilt is to iron and get everything cut. I'm going to be taking stacks of four. So I'm gonna cut these together, these together and these together. It really doesn't matter what order you go in, but I want all of my fat quarters to be nice, flat, and I wanna line up the salvages. So here are your fat quarters, and like I said, I lined up all of the edges with the salvage, and here what I'm gonna do is on one side, I'm gonna cut and get a straight line, and I'm gonna cut off as little as possible. And because I lined up my pieces, I'm gonna double check to make sure that every layer got cut through. I'm gonna turn this around, and then I'm just gonna use the mat for this. You can either use a ruler or a mat, but eight and a half is right here on the mat. And you can see this ruler is eight and a half, but if you didn't wanna do that, you could just mark eight and a half. So you're gonna make one rectangle, and then do the same thing, eight and a half plus eight and a half is 17 inches. So if you put those back together and cut, just use the mat and cut at 17 inches. And this is all the waste you have, so you really can't even save that for another quilt. So you're using all the fabric possible. Then I'm gonna cut these into 18 and a half inch rectangles. So I'm gonna cut a straight edge here, lining up this and this, turning it around. And again, I'm gonna use the mat. That's what's fun about this quilt. You don't have to be 100% accurate. So cut at 18 and a half, not enough to save. Do the same thing again on the second piece. So now when you put these back on the table, this is what you get from each fat quarter. Two rectangles that are eight and a half by 18 and a half. Now from here, you're gonna consider this stack A and this stack B. You're not gonna intermix the stacks. On the left stack, you're going to measure down four inches and make a little mark. Top right, two inches, the bottom two inches, and here four inches. So four, two, two, four, and we're gonna do the opposite on the other side. Here we're gonna do two, four, four, two. So you're gonna draw a line from each. So that is from the four to the two, and the same thing here. So now you can see my drawn lines. These go this way and these go this way. But before you cut, I'm gonna draw lines a quarter inch away from each of these. So just use the quarter inch mark on your Creative Grids ruler. You have a quarter inch there and a quarter inch there. You're gonna do that on all four of your lines. Now this is a little cheat to show you where to cut. Since I'm cutting all four layers at one time, not all of my pieces will have the drawn line, but I'll show you how to work through that. So from here, remember stack A, stack B. Cut on that center line only. So 
So now I'm gonna use a design board and I'm gonna put my stack A on one board and you're gonna cut all 12 of your fat quarters like this. And then you're going to make a stack for stack B and you're gonna keep all 12 of those fat quarters on a board and we're gonna work with stack A first. We're gonna mix and match. That's why this is called the Mad Dash. So I'm just gonna take one fabric, a different fabric, and a different fabric. You wanna have three different fabrics for your first unit. And like I said, these didn't have drawn lines. So here, I'm gonna draw the lines. The line will disappear with heat later. Now, some of you won't need this line, and some of you will. I'm doing it because I feel like I get a better result with this line. So you want this corner to line up. So you want this corner right here to line up right there. And then when you flip this over, this line right here should touch this line. And so you can see it's not exactly a quarter inch on each side just because the angle is different than most of your normal angles. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side and just where those quarter inch lines touch each other, that's where you want to lay your piece. And you want to pin across and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam on both sides. Once you have that sewn, set your seam, press to one side. Once you have that done, you wanna press open. So you can see once that's done, this should be a straight line. And I would go ahead and draw some lines before you sew all these together to get the hang of getting this lined up. And once you do that, you won't have to draw all the lines. Now this is your A unit. You're gonna make 12 of these. This unit should measure eight and a half by 17 and a half. Now we're gonna move to our fabric B pieces. So when this is pieced, Unfinished, it will be eight and a half by 17 and a half inches. We're gonna take our fabric B pieces and you're gonna do the same thing. It's just a different direction. So the same thing, mix and match your pieces. The scrappier, the better. And of course, you will have all 12 of your fat quarters. So from here, you're gonna do the same thing. Line up your drawn lines, stitch and press. So this is how your fabric B unit will look. It's that same unfinished size at eight and a half by 17 and a half. Then you're gonna put your two units together and I'm just gonna rotate this because I don't want those touching. And then what you're gonna do is just put these right sides together, pin at each end. I'm gonna pin in the center. And then if you marked correctly, these should automatically line up. If you just wanna make sure, what you can do is just put a pin in that right there. And we're just gonna sew with a quarter inch seam. So this is one of your blocks. So from 12 fat quarters, you will make 12 blocks. If you wanted to use 16 fat quarters, then you would have 16 blocks, so on and so forth. And your unfinished block should be 16 and a half by 17 and a half. Such a fun and easy block. I could have made that in five minutes. And if I took 12 fat quarters and did them five minutes each, that would be a quilt in an hour. So let's talk about assembly and putting your quilt together. So here's the quilt laid out, and this is your placement of your block. One block, one block, one block. Since there are 12 blocks, we made three blocks by four blocks. And you can see my block was totally scrappy. You could do your quilt like this one where it's a little bit planned scrappy, where the top and the bottoms are the same, totally up to you. So on the outside, we put a red print and a low volume on the back. So this is a great fun quilt and you can sew it up in a dash. So here's your Mad Dash block. And if you like fun, fat quarter, easy, you can also check out our Slice and Dice quilt, very similar. And if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.